Welcome to Education Lifeline. This is Tibro Paul, and today we will be going over some terminology of functions. We will be discussing discrete and continuous functions, as well as how to find the domain and range of functions. Now, if you haven't watched our previous videos on functions, they'll be linked in the description down below, as well as the top right hand corner of your screen. Please make sure you check those videos out before you watch this one. So the first graph here is one of a discrete function. A discrete function is a function with distinct and separate values. On the other hand, a continuous function is a function whose graph does not have any discontinuities, or in other words, any holes and gaps. Now the domain of a function is a set of all points over which a function is defined. The range is the set of values the function takes on as output. Simply stated, the domain is the input values and the range is the output values. Domain goes left and right while range goes up and down. To find domain, go to the leftmost point to the rightmost point. For range, go from the lowest point to the highest point. For discrete graphs, you must write the values of each point. For continuous graphs, you must write an inequality representing all the points in the function. Range is controlled by the variable y, while domain is controlled by the variable x. Remember that the first graph is discrete, meaning that we need to write the individual values. For domain, we will write the individual x values which are negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, and 1. Similarly, for range, we must write the y values for these points, which are 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. For the continuous graph, we are going to use inequalities. For domain, the least most x value is negative 8, and the greatest is 6. This time we have to make sure that we use the variable x because this is what represents domain. So the inequality would be negative 8 is less than or equal to x, which is less than or equal to 6. For range, we look for the lowest and highest points for y and put them into inequalities between. In this case, the least is negative 5.75 and the greatest is 9. Since the constant for range is y, we put it in the middle of the inequality. 5.75 is less than or equal to y, which is less than or equal to 9. If this video was helpful, please drop a like and subscribe to Education Lifeline. Be sure to watch our other videos of functions and check the description below for other helpful resources. Thanks for watching.